Hey, back to your trinomials. A is greater than 1. Last lesson of the week. Let's start here, shall we? A is the coefficient of x squared. A lot of you missed that in the Desmos activity. Not sure how. I'll say it again real loud. A is the coefficient of x squared. Okay, let's move on. Yesterday we did uh, factor by grouping. So a quick review of how to do that. Multiply the first times the last. Ooh, 7 times 28. I'll use a skill that my younger son is doing right now, where he does 7 times 30, and 7 times negative 2, and then he subtracts those. It's a good way to do it. What is that, 196? Okay, so we got 196 over here. We need the factors of 196 to generate a 53. Now, the good part about this is that it's plus plus, so these have to be both positive factors when we look at it. So I'm thinking no for that one. Uh, I'm thinking no for this one. Uh, what is that? 98? Yeah, probably not going to work. So does 3 go into 196? No, it doesn't. So let's go with 4. Uh, let's see, that would be 4 times 40-something. Uh, I think it's 4 times 49. Wait, did I say 4 times 49? That works. At least check me on that. 4 times 49? Well, it's 4 times 50, which is 200, mm -hmm. minus 1, mm -hmm. minus 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that works. That's if you distribute. Okay, it checks out. So we're going to go ahead and throw those factors in right here. We're going to split this up into those two. So we got 4a plus 49a. Bring down the 7a squared. And bring down the 28. Now that you have successfully found the two factors that make the middle term, we want to factor out the GCF of the first two and the second two. So let's start with the first two. Seven and four, no go. A squared and A, that's that's an A. So you rope out an A. Oh wait, this is how I did yesterday. Rope out an A, divide both terms by A. I like that better. So this would be seven A plus four, okay? Now the back two, 49 and 28, that's seven. So plus seven, divide both terms by seven and you get 7a plus 4. Genius! See how the groups are the same? So that is what you take out of both of these terms. Well, there's more than one term there, but both of these entities, things, just come on. 7a plus 4. And if you take that away from each part, what's left? I see a plus 7. Okay, nifty. Remember, that works for all trinomials that are factorable if they're of this form. Now, what if you don't like that? What if you don't want to do this? That's too much work. Okay, let's complain. That's fine. Let's look at number nine, and we'll just do a guess and check method. Okay, This is also a viable way to do it. Now, first, I see a common factor in all three of those. If you're going to factor this completely, you have to take out common factors. So for this, I'm going to start with my cowboy which is that so, which I did over here with the A and the 7, I see a factor of 3. I guess I put that in a different color. Maybe that's not 3. 3. Let's divide everything by 3 before we do anything else. So we've got 3 times, let's see, 5n squared minus 9n and then minus 2. If anything, that just kind of like made everything less in value, so it makes it easier to factor. Okay, with the three still here, can't forget about it. All I want you to do is think about where this term came from. It came from the multiplication of the first spots, which are here and here. So that would be like 5n times 5. It's really one of the only ways to arrive at that conclusion. So you start with that. Don't, don't worry about your signs yet. Think about the two. Uh, what multiplies to 2? Well, 1 and 2. You could just throw those numbers in there. 
one and two, in that order. And now it's a balancing act, okay? You have to balance these two terms, or sorry, those as that term, when you multiply it, the first, right? Actually, that's the, that's the outer, sorry. Multi, uh, the outer with the inner, okay? The O and the I. So the outer term is 5n times 2. That's uh, 10n. And then the inner term is 1n. Now, using those two, can you get negative 9n? Of course you can. You would need a negative 10 and a positive 1 when you add those two terms together. So where do you put the signs? Well, to get a negative 10, you'd have to put a negative right there. Because of the positive 5 times negative 2 gets you to this number. To get a positive 1, you'd have to have a plus 6. Okay? So this is the correct factorization of that trinomial. Now that's guess and check, okay? So we have factor by grouping. Group these two, group the back two, go for it. We have guess and check where you're just doing this balancing act, factoring out a GCF always, if you can. Uh, I don't know which one's better. It depends on like what you're able to see and handle in your mind. I mean, writing down work is good, but some people can just autofill the puzzle. And if you can do that, great. If not, you can do whatever's comfortable. So number 11, you have to make a decision right now. Okay, I want you to try this one on your own before I attempt it. Go. Factor by grouping or guess and check. Okay. Here we go. If I were to do a little guess and check action, first of all, I notice there's no common factor, so I'm just going to go for it. The problem with guess and check is there's two ways to start. You see this? To create the 4n squared, you could do 4n times n or 2n times 2n. Okay. Uh, to get 25, I'm thinking 5 and 5. So either way. I mean, it could be 25 and 1, but that doesn't look feasible. Now it's the balancing act. 4 times 5 is 20, or sorry, 4n times 5 is 20n, and that's the outer term. And the inner term right here is 5n. Now, if I can get the middle with those two, I don't have to worry about this other way to do it because it won't be possible. Oh, yeah, I can do that. I need a negative 20 and a positive 5. If I add those together, I get the middle of negative 15. Over here, the goal was negative 9. I was able to achieve that. Here, I did factor my grouping. So, I think I'm good. I just need to put my signs in. Negative right here because that's negative 20, 4 times negative 5, and then a plus on the 5. Don't worry about this. You have successfully factored the trial. Okie doke. Um, well, just for giggles, let's take a look at what this guy's doing. Oh, I see you've dressed up too. I see you dressed up as well. It's a work day. Wow. Uh, thank you. Let me come take a look at that. It's not even right. You guys are Kansas. I don't watch your videos. Erase, 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 erase. Are you kidding me with this? 